Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in the last video you saw the last update, you saw that I'd messed everything up and so I got that all ripped out, got the new motor mounts in, the motors actually sat in there already. Um, I will show you the, the motor mounts in and where how I did on that and then uh, we'll get into it today. Um, I've already got the water pump on, I'm going to start putting some oil in it. I like to put oil in it while I'm thinking about it so it's, later on you don't forget about it and accidentally start the engine. So I'm going to put the order, oil, oil in. Uh, why the intake manifolds off and then we're gonna go from there see what we can get done today well guys fault me a little bit um <laughs> i was paranoid about getting it in there crooked again so i took like the measurements a thousand times i had the motor in and out a few different times but it actually I think i turned it turned out a little bit better than it did the first time um you can see the welds turned out halfway decent never great not a professional welder um, but we got pretty good spacing there between the steering rack and seems to be in there pretty straight and about as centered up in the tunnel as I, th I think I can get it. All right, well, we'll bring you back when uh, got the engine back in. Sensor looking holes. You big dummy. You can see I cut off the the power steering part of the alternator bracket. Just give me a little more room in there. Cleaned it up a little bit. Get it in there now.
belt. Probably gonna need a new belt in here too, listening to that. No one need to get a new tincture. I need to order that. Alright guys, let me get back here. I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do next. All right, guys, so what we decided to do here is measure torque converter spacing. Should be between, you want to pull that once it's all the way back, you want to be able to pull it out between an eighth and three sixteenths. If it comes out more than that, you need to put spacers in there. Um, if you pull it out more than that, it uh, will disengage the pump. And if you leave it too far in, or if there's not enough spacing there, then uh, if the converter pump, um, expands or balloons out it'll eat your thrust bearings or the pump so what we do is we're going to motion it up right there now I know that this stack right here is about an eighth of an inch and it fits in there fairly easily there's a little bit of space there so we have because it's coming up on that it slides in there real easy there's a little bit of space and I know that my full stack is three sixteenths of an inch just about exactly and that will not fit in there so we're between that eighth and three sixteenths basically doing it as a go no go and uh, so we're good there so we got good torque converter spacing I can pull that out uh, I'm gonna rotate the flywheel around so we can get the bolts in and uh, then we'll tighten up the converter to the to the engine we'll be good to go all right you can see I got that pulled in there I'm gonna put a little bit of Loctite just a little bit don't need a ton Joe wrenches and get this in here oh look at that you can see my you just get to see my arm Pretty awesome videoing by myself. You know, let me move that a little bit and see if you can. Yeah, you're really not going to see anything but my arm, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty much a professional videographer. Here we go. It's still just my arm, but whatever. All right, guys, we got those all tightened up. I figured you guys didn't want to stare at my my arm for a while just as I tightened up all those bolts. So I went ahead and just tightened them up. That's where we're at. That's going to take care of it for the day. We got these torque converters in, bolts in. We got the intake manifold on and oil in it and some more brackets and alternator. The alternator bracket and alternator in there. So that's going to take it for the day. Thanks for uh, watching, guys. Later. Bye.